Welcome to the recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. Today we're working on some open source development for the Creative Commons. It's a uh, website rewrite, the, the theme rewrite, and we have an epic defined uh, containing several tasks. Essentially what we want to do is switch away from hard-coded templates See if this doesn't link from the epic. Uh, to, to use instead the Gutenberg editor as a page builder. And what I've compiled here is a list of all of the major pages that are uh, planned or active on the website or that are defined in uh, our Figma mockups. And I've just started in on one particular um, page, the home page, which essentially has several sections that are full width and have various media text and other you know elements like buttons and I need to kind of uh, dissect these in a way that we can figure out how well we can build this with Gutenberg and whether or not we need to sort of revert to hard-coded templates and things like that so far it's been pretty good though so the home page mock-up I've started with the top area and I've got a basic implementation here We're using Gutenberg blocks only and uh, the button aesthetic wasn't exactly uh, as is in the mock-up so today I went ahead and tested out ways of uh, um, achieving the or at least a little closer to the way the mock-up looks and we're using Bulma so I wanted to apply a Bulma class to the button as a first step and that way I would know that a CSS class could be applied and we could use our internal styles I just don't know the exact class name as it stands so let's just take a look at a couple of approaches um, first was to apply the class directly to an existing Gutenberg uh, kind of a button row element which I think I might be mis uh, understanding where the class gets applied it seems to get applied to a parent element instead of actually the button itself block button link and the other one was um, more successful was just to go straight to raw HTML and I believe that would be a last resort um, option because uh, we don't want our content managers to have to really rely on HTML too much we'd rather give them nice Gutenberg widgets I'll just show you the uh, editing interface um, Let's see, this sidebar is not there. How do I get that sidebar back? There we go. When I, so yeah, I'm definitely learning a lot. I haven't used WordPress in a while. I'm really impressed by the Gutenberg editor and uh, I'm glad to learn more about it. So when I click this button, it says it's a button. I might be able to apply button styles here to the individual buttons. If we define those, that could be a possibility. Uh, alternatively, the, it's like a button block which lets you like create a row of buttons. It's not exactly what we want. Uh, my assumption was that the, uh, CSS classes would be applied to the buttons, but somehow they're applied to a parent container. And here's the example of just the raw HTML block. So that's pretty straightforward, uh, from a, like a web developer perspective, but not something we just want to, uh, require that our editors use and so the last uh, step which is kind of what I've shown what I've shown in the screenshots there is um, the way those render you can see the um, here this anchor uh, has some classes that are uh, changing the color and background uh, text color and the background color and then our Bulma classes get applied to this parent, which sort of renders an empty Bulma button with, uh, so it's kind of just, uh, it's not behaving as I was expected. And here's the example with HTML. It works as expected. You can see the Bulma CSS has been loaded in here. So I'm going to have to find a compromise. I'm going to have to either learn how to use this button um, block 
appropriately to achieve our uh, goal of just rendering the button with the correct style or might we might need to create a custom um, Gutenberg block here for just allowing the editors to throw in call to action buttons throughout uh, pages because there's there's a lot of those there's several just in this mock up here we've got some uh, well that's a form but uh, we've got several buttons here donation button uh, and I'm not sure as we get down the line here if each of these is going to be uh, created with Gutenberg or if some of these will be like uh, template partials or something like that but in any case you can see that call to action buttons are, are kind of important to this design and to, to many websites all right so this has been creative commons open source office hours of sorts we're going to try to have these more often and encourage community uh, involvement and perhaps uh, even steering some of the open source initiatives here at creative commons and also we're trying to partner and align with the codebuddies.org community. If you're interested in this or other projects, there's a lot of different groups of like-minded folks learning different technologies and working on projects together, uh, having discussions and hangouts. Thanks a lot for your time and have a great day.